Okay? So, <coughs> so I'll, I'll tell you what exactly you need to... This is me and Vigil. Okay. This is the um, left denominate vein injection. There is no uh, LSVC. We'll do it outside. So this is the uh, LV NGO again on uh, LIL cranial. As you can see, BSD to start with is a big, there is a big pouch here, but the effective shunt is really small. As you can see here, the cut pigtail and then the drum wire, we cross the VSD and then the wire is in the RV. And now we advance the wire more in the RV and then as you can see it went up actually to the pulmonary artery. So this is as I said the uh, wire crossing the uh, VSD to RV and then to MPA as you can see wire is going up, 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 up to the pulmonary. Okay. And now what we will do, uh, snare, can I get the snare please? So that is the snare here, which we will use to snare the wire from the main pulmonary artery. Okay. So that is the snare here. And then uh, we'll show it to you in a minute as we, uh, as we cross actually to the... Uh, main pulmonary artery and uh, and get it snapped so that's uh, that's how it's actually looked like okay so as you can see here the snare was opened and then it was pulled the uh, wire from the left side was snared and and it will be pulled in a second see now it's snared and now pulled as you can see, we pull it all the way down, 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 and then it was exteriorized. So this is an 8 uh, millimeter muscular device because I think the uh, BZ itself is big, it's around 18 to 20 millimeters, but as you can see, it is making a pouch in here. And the narrowest is around four to five millimeters, so we chose an eight um, millimeter device. So as you can see here, the uh, unplaster device, that is the uh, internal diameter, is eight millimeter, and there is wings on both sides. It's different from the uh, peri membranous DZ. As you can see, the waist here is really yeah. wide. Okay. So, um, we'll load it in a minute. So this is a uh, six French delivery system, uh, which we will be using to deliver this eight millimeter device. So, um, we'll be flushing this in a minute. So this loader should be loaded. Okay, so and then the wire here, or the cable, delivery cable, should be pushed this way. Okay, it's all flushed already. Okay, and now we will load the device. Okay. So that's the LV side, that's the RV side where it's connected to the cable. So it's loaded and you have to check it that it is it is really well snagged. You can feel the click so you know it's okay. Okay, good. Okay, so we need a flush here please. Flush, good. Okay. Okay, again. Very good. So I'm going to release it out. 
Again, Christian Doctor. Yes, in a minute. Okay. Go ahead. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Wired up? Okay. Fix the wire. Keep the system straight. Yes, the uh so now we're crossing the VSD. And uh, we actually pulled the uh, dilator, as you can see, you see only the uh, sheet. So now we pulled actually the uh, LV disc against the wall, the LV wall, and as you can see the T rope here. So here we pull the device against actually the pouch to test it and also to do, to release the waste. So we release the waste and then we release the uh, right ventricular disc as you can see. Okay. So um, this is the TEE. And uh, as you can see the uh, PSD is way posterior. So when we get the coronary sinus, in view we see the uh, device as you can see. And uh, when we get the AV valve in view, we can see both mitral and tricuspid are free actually. In the tricuspid. In the tricuspid, yes. In the tricuspid. Okay, track us with make the color, color box on the track us with only. Okay, so there is no obstruction actually on the track us with bar. Take it. Doppler it, please. Is there any concern from your side, uh, Denai? No. So Dr. Denai is happy from his side. And uh, from this side, we are also happy. So what we will do, we will release the device in a second. So just keep an eye on there. So while the device is still hooked to the cable, we did an NGO and you can see there is no more shunt. So there is no residual shunt and the device is snug into the pouch so then uh, we decided to release the device